Once upon a time, there lived an old man who had retired to a farm alone after many long and happy years working for the railroad as an engineer. And even though he now lived quite far from the nearest tracks, he would still dream of those joyous days of the past as an engineer on the biggest and most powerful steam locomotive in the land. Now about all the company the old man had were his two hunting dogs and a cute little puppy named Whitey. Whitey wasn't very white, just a patch in his forehead, but that spot was so unusual, he just had to be called Whitey. Hey, come on, let's play! That Whitey was always up to something. He had more energy than three other dogs, and he was always looking for someone to play with, but the other farm animals just ignored him. Why won't they play with me? But it was then that it happened. It was an old mother wolf come to steal a chicken or duck from the coop. The mother wolf had grown quite old, and she was no longer fast enough to catch any wild birds or animals. So her only choice to feed her pups was to steal from the farm. Uh. Oops. Uh. Oh, no. Huh? What's that? After her, boys. At last. Looks like a little action around here. <laughs> she won't get away this time. Now, just a little more to the right. Huh? Oh. Whitey hadn't really meant to spoil the shot. It's just that he was so excited by all the commotion that he couldn't help it. Meanwhile, the old mother wolf had to hang her head in shame as she went back to her den without any food for the pups again. No food again? Hey, Mom, we're getting tired of nothing but these old bones and scraps. Even at night, Whitey was always getting into trouble. He loved to sneak into the sheep's pen and roll around in the hay. But tonight, Whitey wasn't the only one out and looking for trouble. Once more, that old mother wolf had come around, hoping for a chance to catch something to eat. Oh, boy, oh, boy. The mother wolf ran, and she ran until she had at last lost the farm dogs. She could hardly wait to get back to the den and show the pups her catch. <laughs> well, what do you think of your old mother now? Not bad, huh? Hi. Yikes! A dog! That's right. The mother wolf had mistaken Whitey for one of the lambs. Where do you think you are, fella? I don't believe it. Impossible. You said it. Hey, how'd you guys like to play with me, huh? Hmm. No way. Forget it. Gee, no one ever wants to play with me. We never have any fun at all. Well, maybe just this once. Yeah, we'll play with you. Sure, why not? Gee, fellas, do you really mean it, huh? Whitey and the pups played and played. They had a wonderful time. But the mother wolf was exhausted and discouraged. She would have to bring home some food soon or they would surely starve. She lay down to get some much needed rest. Yeah, we're hungry. How about some eggs? Oh, hum. You must be 
kidding. Why don't you eat the pup? <gasps> huh? Hey, Mom, we can't eat this pup. He's our friend. What was that? A dog and a wolf? Sure. He's our buddy now, so don't forget to bring something for him to eat, too. Now I have to feed him, too? I like bacon with my eggs. Huh? Oh. <laughs> All right, you win. I just hope none of my friends see this. Why, I'd be the laughing stock of the forest. Imagine me fixing breakfast for a dog. And with that, the old mother wolf set out once more to try and find some food. The pups soon tired of playing in the den, so Whitey invited them to go exploring. But the wolf pups had been warned by their mother to stay inside. Yet curiosity got the better of them, and they timidly peeked out for their first look at the outside world. Never had they seen so many interesting things. That over there, huh? Why, that's breakfast. Whitey didn't see any breakfast. To him, it was just a rabbit. But to his wolf pup friends, nothing could have looked more delicious. Whitey didn't realize what he had done. He thought they were only playing with the rabbit. He didn't know that life in the wild was so different. Why, at home, he never had to catch his own food. The old engineer never let any of his animals go hungry. At last, Whitey realized that life in the wild was not for him. I'd better go home. It's the old mother wolf, and she's got one of our chickens. Got her now, boys. <laughs> Uh-oh. There was no place for her to run. You've stolen your last chicken from me, wolf. There's nothing worse on a farm than a chicken-stealing wolf. Huh? Whitey, where have you been? What are you doing with that wolf? Look out now. Whitey, what's the matter with you? Have you gone crazy? Now get out of the way. The old engineer couldn't very well just let the wolf go. He knew she'd be back, and in no time at all, she'd have all his chickens. He'd be ruined. I'm sorry, Whitey, but I've got to put a stop to this. I can't do it. When the old engineer saw how much Whitey liked the old wolf, he just couldn't make himself shoot. Come on, boys. I think it's time we went home. Let's go. I know you're hungry, but you really shouldn't have stolen the chicken. Look, you'll never learn. I'm a wolf, and wolves eat chickens. That's the way things are, understand? Hey, wait for me! Take your old chicken and go back to where you belong. But I only... Oh. It's for the best. And thank you. And from that day on, 
the old mother wolf never bothered those chickens again. <laughs>